You don't want to skimp out on that kind of stuff. Right. And then you want to do gold glove stuff and then managers. You want to do managers and gold glove stuff. Finish with awards. Okay. The best prediction ever. Uh, let's see. The plaque says... Best prediction to ever be predicted. Winner, Trevor Plouffe. Um, and on the bottom, it has the tweet there. Uh, so we're getting a, a little bit of a reflection here. That's probably the best angle at it. Uh, so, yeah, Trevor, we, we had to commemorate you. So, you know, you just threw out another prediction, which I don't think is accurate. Well, I'll find out. I don't think okay. that one's going to win the next uh, well, best prediction to ever be predicted award. It honestly would. It honestly would if oh, it does okay. happen. This one comes true. You thought Braves and six, we went nuts. But um, Trev, we did have to commemorate you being the best ever. I really appreciate that. Um, the only people I care about giving me um, a pat on the back are our fans, and then the other people at John Boy Media. So. Uh, happy for you. That's what that. Now you're getting into That's why Jimmy doesn't like thing about Nick Willenda. Why? You know what? There's no need. And now his like kids do it and stuff, so it's like, oh. I don't like him either. Yeah, I believe the go-to line on it is like he, because when he does, he's like praying to God the whole way across. Like, why are you hogging God on something you're choosing to do? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I'm in agreement on. It's fair. How big is the rope? But it takes up a lot. How thick is the rope? That rope looks th- pretty thick. There, I didn't think. I don't it was know if that. that I don't know if that's the rope. Is that like the pole? That you might just that, be like, like a cartoon. Oh yeah, because he holds the that. pole. He's bad. I don't think that's him specifically. Like that's like what you do on those. I'll be very upset if somebody gave me that for my, my first shot. Yeah. Well, it's a, it'll be one that gets shit in and you throw out and don't bother cleaning. It wasn't happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, and you run, you run through ones. I told, I told, I told Jimmy. I'm like, there's gonna be one shit mm. where you're gonna like half consider. Should I throw away this baby? Yeah, this baby. Is point, gonna be, it's like it's should gonna I just get a baby. new baby altogether? <laughs> because this thing can't be right. That is too much shit. <laughs> Up the back, in the hair. It's oh, like, uh, oh shit. <laughs> 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 Get a couple claps. Yeah. I haven't hit record. It's not recording. You can clap if you like, just for funsies. That's the only time I clap, when it's for fun. Today is November 9th. We are joined by our guy, Joe's McFly. The Yanks actually did a bunch of stuff. We got guys are off the team. Guys are getting 40-man new coaches. And Joe's McFly's dream offseason. Let's do it. Let's talk Yanks. Pick the same game back to back, you know. Don't get them all on this side of my mouth. Chipmunk stuff. Ah, kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> um. We were watching one of those, like, We Love the 90s TV shows or something like that. Do you want this on camera? Or yeah. I want to turn my body like this. Okay. <laughs> we were watching one of those We Love the 90s TV shows. Mm-hmm. And... Which TV uh, show? Richard Karn was on it. Al from Home Improvement. Charles in Charge. And they were talking about... He was talking about, like, himself, and he's like, Yeah, you know, I, uh... I had this reputation as as Al, so I couldn't be doing, you know, all any of these like scary movies, any Final Destination films. And me and my buddy just started cracking up because we we're like, Richard, you didn't get offered yeah. any Final Destination films. That was your bigger problem. Uh? <laughs> I, hated Let's that. I hated that. What? That uh? uh? Like, what man talks like that? <laughs> Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. My favorite man. <laughs> ready to go? Yes. You ready? 
I mean, yeah. I'm trying to think. I've been thinking about what I'm going to name my family. Welcome back. We're running oh. the table. Family feud. Joe's McFly. Jake Schmorishmelly. Let's feud. Which family do you think you are? I, I, I'm like really into the song, kind of. Did we have this tunage last time? No, we didn't. Remember, I don't think we just so. had the. Is the this long, you? Long layers. This might be. This is you. This is me. Okay. I hate your family. You love Houston. You're a Houston guy. Big Houston guy. We'll go with Houston. One of them, Jake. I mean, Joe's. I lived in this city. Yeah. The Big D, thing. baby. Mm. Dallas, Texas. Come on. Be on there. Give me one. Jesus. Yep. All right. I'm running it back, Joe. I lived in Never Texas. Mind. I know all these places. I didn't see you guys there. I was just working on something that I've been working on every day of my life. Uh, while I have you, can I tell you guys about dugout mugs? Dugout mugs. You've probably seen this, the old Woody. I started first wakeboarding on a board called Woody. That's a true story. What if I told you? Uh, Dugout mugs, they made the switch. You know, they made, they used to make houses out of wood, and then they invented metal. That's why you see all those metal houses. Dugout mugs, they've made the metal bat. I've told you guys I'm gonna make this part of my signature. I've been sad for 24 hours because we had Ian Happ on, and I didn't show him this. And it was on the desk in front of me. Hey, stupid! This metal mug, keep your drink cold, keep your drink warm. Those might be two things you like. Promo code, I just burp sec, edit it. <sighs> Promo code John Boy, 30% off at dugoutmugs.com. You wanna get, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna wanna get yourself this. Was any of that on tape? Dugout mugs, they're the absolute best. Uh, the perfect gift. And they basically said they're gonna sell out of everything. So, this is like their Black Friday sale. I would get in there now, dugoutmugs.com slash Johnboy. Get the metal. I'll get the wood knob shot lined up. But the metal is kind of the new, cool, literally shiny object. Go get that, dugoutmugs.com. Yeah. Yeah, I put him in the middle. All jocks today. Meathead pod. Jock app. <laughs> Zoom in a little closer. <laughs> Tight shots only. What do they call it when the the TNT or TBS does the all all athletes? Uh, players play? only. Players only. That's what we got today. <laughs> Four players. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Talking Baseball. We are joined by another podcaster, Ian Happ. Let's do Thank it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, Ian Happ coming live from Arizona. Arizona. Also, I feel like I didn't get the memo that once the music hits, I'm supposed to do something like try yeah. to add sunglasses or bobbin. Next time I come on, I'll be ready. Um, and Trevor Plouffe was just on your show, The Compound. Um, and there was a funny moment uh, where Trevor did ask if you guys were ever going to have Josh Donaldson on. Come on, and then, man. And then <laughs> he was on a couple episodes ago. And Trevor, that was a tough moment. That was a tough moment. It was tough. It was tough because I thought that as a part of John Boy Media, he cared enough to at least uh, to listen to every episode. It seems like it's turned into a big Bronxy day for Sam. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna put him down today. Good for you. Figure out Jim for JJR. I think he wants to make an appearance. No, coffee, Clifford tonight. It's a big day. Coffee Clifford. Coffee and Clifford. Wednesdays. <laughs> Every Wednesday. 
All right. Thumb. Let's get a thumb. Bang. Turn of the Jamalope. Five, four, three, Hello, and welcome to episode number 321 of John Boy and Jake Radio. Biggest draft of the year. Some might say. Some might say. BBD, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Ready to I've draft. I've talked to Jake. I haven't, I haven't gotten to talk to you. to you. How's life? It's, all, it's good. Um... I guess I can say I got approved for that apartment or whatever, so moving soon. That nice. I got unofficial yesterday, I think. Hell yeah. So biggest mo- news of uh, any of the three of us in the last week. Um, JJ went well. Mm-hmm. IMO. Um, you know, we weren't sure how much John we were going to get. We got a lot of them. I see the baby? Wow. Got some cool cards. Got to send thank yous. Set all these ads on fire. The glamorous behind the scenes. There, uh, get that in the picture. Oops. Oopsies. Hello. That's how I spend most of my days. Come here. Come. That's what it's like to hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, it's me, Krusty. <laughs> Got myself. Guys, 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 listen up. Here's a story about a guy that lives in his blue house. Now, I want you guys to think about how we're shooting this right now. Where do you think Zach is? It's behind the camera. Where do you think the camera is? Yeah, a boy. There's only one way you can get into this position. It's by hustling, and it's by having energy. And if you really need it, you relax, man. If Zach wasn't so relaxed right now, you think he'd be letting me sit on him like this? (laughs) On him might be the wrong term. We're technically, we're not making contact right now, right? Maybe a little, my toe was close. Guys, cushy dreams. (laughs) We couldn't be doing this without cushy dreams. We have a big week, man, big workload. Energy. Cushy dreams. This is pre-rolled. You know what you do? You open it, you light it up, you smoker. Bang biscuit. You got one of those fancy schmants and smoking devices they sell at every street corner? But that? That's the fresh stuff. This hasn't been cracked yet. It's about to be when Dad needs to relax later. Ah! Hustle. Guys, we love cushy dreams. We've been telling you for a while now. I'll go full McConaughey on you. If your dreams aren't cushy, then are they really dreams? Is that McConaughey? I don't know who that was. It wasn't McConaughey. It was cushy dreams, people. And you need to go to cushydreams.com and use promo code JOMBOY. 20% off. 20% off your first order? (laughs) 20% off your last order. No, no, no. It's 20% off your next order. CushyDreams.com. Try it for yourself. It can really change your life if you need to relax. Maybe try the relax. If you need energy, try the energy. What do you guys think you should do with the hustle? Hustle. Hustle. Hard. Rick Ross. Huh? CushyDreams.com. Promo code JOHNBOY. 20% off your next order. Just keep running it. Order as much as you can possible. Give it as a gift. Order some, send it to me. No, that's kind of rude. But if you want, thanks, Cushy Dreams. We love you. Go check them out for you or a loved one. 
Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight. Gonna grab some afternoon delight. My motto's always been when it's right, it's right. Why wait until the middle of the cold hard night? When everything's a little clearer in the light of day. And you know the night is always gonna be there anyway. Thinking of you's working on my appetite. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. My motto's always been when it's right, it's right. <laughs> Should we just keep filming stuff from this shot? It feels care. like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also curious if there is a season two. I was just about to look up the rest of this. Oh, the neat shells, Clifford. And I feel like it's kind of rude that he doesn't talk oh, to Emily, one. but only around his friends. Yeah. It's like he's keeping himself. Maybe Bronxy does that when we leave the office. <laughs> <laughs> Talks to the cats in the alley. Yeah, the mice. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> like a human do it. Do your best, dog. <laughs> Just imagine the poor voice actors. Yeah. Zach, do you want to hear the theme song? Maybe this will, this really jogged our memory. This might be good for me. Oh, man. My honest guess is how long? Two, two seasons. seasons. Yeah, two seasons. Let me go show because now this is all just movie times. TV series. Two seasons. That's it. That First episode date September fourth, two thousand. Well, the fact that the first season was at least twenty-seven episodes. Yeah, let me see. Oh, probably a lot of episodes. First season was forty episodes. Okay. So. Season two, twenty-six. Hi. It's me again. Went to the movies last night. Saw Clifford, the big red dog. If you're not familiar. Uh, it was good. It was great. It was good. <laughs> um, I had some watermelon Sour Patch Kids. Some poppy corn. Um, yeah, good flick. I mean, you know, obviously a couple emotional moments when you got a little girl and her puppy. I'm gonna feel that. Um, you know, Jess, my sweet Jess talked about how realistic the movie seemed for her a girl and her big dog there's a lot of comparisons there uh but yeah enjoyed it i i would have liked if i'm being critical one more like funny scene like there was like one and a half funny scenes um they go to the vet with keenan i won't give anything yeah, away question. but that was pretty good when you um my God, who is this guy? Just ruining the Clifford reveal? I didn't realize you were on oh camera. Oh my God. I know, I'm sorry. It must have been a really good movie. 9.9 .9 out of 10. That's low. 9.9 .9 on Clifford. What? Do you think that's... What do you think that is? It's low up there. or high? That's putting it up there. I have that on the low end. IMDB has it as a 6.0. It's a 10-foot dog loosing up a Manhattan. That guy's a pretty good character, no shock. Mm -hmm. um, he plays, what's his name, Bridwell. What a cast. Can't believe how low it's rated. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zach, I think that would get us copyright claim, dude. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll warp the audio. That's there. animal heat waves. Oh. So I think about a zero. All the nights in the middle of June, heat waves been fucking more. Zach, stop messing with my voice. When we do the vlogs, man. Uh, you guys want me to be honest? The stress is fucking killing me. <laughs> Jimmy, come back. Um, 
We're good. We're just hanging out. I love a good hammock, as you guys can see. Uh, I like to go in the hammock, gather my thoughts, read a good book. I have decided I'm going to read a book this off season. I'm open to recommendations. Um, boy, is this uncomfortable. It's this, kind of a... This is a real high wire act. Miraculous how you're making this happen. I'm making this look... Yeah. Oh. Sometimes I'll open your bottles here. Zach! Stop it with the voice stuff. Ah, <sighs> do we always end up here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna flip it forward. Yep. Oh, nice. I have a true story for the people. Should I tell it? Yeah. It's a bad story. My <laughs> uncle Paul asked to get some of these for the holidays, and I kind of had to tell him <coughs> one time. I'd have to be lying to all the good John Boy Media people that we stopped selling these. Like, if he really wants, I'll make it work. But I can't! To you, for you! <laughs> the people of our great colony! I was a terrible leader in ancient Rome. People forget that. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to open with that? There's already a great opening.